for this review, we have the Masters of the Universe cross Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Moss Man. So this guy is in line with what we've seen recently with the heroes having some kind of mutagen um, done to them and like transforming them into monsters um, as if Mo Moss Man wasn't all already, you know, kind of monsterish. Um, this is a deluxe figure, so he comes in a box with a flap on the side. We get some nice artwork. On the other side, we get some nice artwork. On the bottom, UPC and legal stuff. And on the back, we get a nice uh, display of him fighting Leo. So this definitely is a, you know, call out that these guys have been turned like they're they've been made bad guys with this mutagen um and it does show he can do some pretty crazy stuff with his appendages so we'll see that in a moment okay so that's the box um let's take a look at the figure let's open them up first so just like the other deluxe figures he has this file card instead of a comic um, there are instructions, but the instructions basically tell you that you can take the figure apart. Um, the card is really thick. Um, this one's a little bent, but um, I think I bent it up a bit pulling this out of the package. And on the back, it tells us what's going on with him. Um, let's us know he is Moss Man and he has been mutated. It says zombified manifestation. So that is what's going on with Moss Man. And just so you can see how he is laid out in the package and all his little parts. So let's let's blah, blah, blah. Let's get him out of the package and take a look at the figure in more detail. Okay, so here he is out of the package. He doesn't really have weapons per se. He's got appendages. So he's got this Venus flytrap kind of thing. <laughs> he's got some tentacles. He's got uh a claw hand and then he's got what i think is a go between piece for his hand and the fly trap part so before we get to these pieces cuz they're they're going to take up a lot of room here he does have more of a translucent body like the more translucent ram man came with so kind of makes me think that the more translucent version might be correct. But then we've got He-Man. And he's got more of a solid plastic. I mean, it's still slightly translucent. And now I'm wondering if there's like a running change with him too, if there's a more translucent version. So I'm going to try to determine that. So let's do our best to deck this guy out. Um, we'll go over the figure a little bit first. So he's his face is uh, kind of Wolfman-like. I know Moss Man generally looks like that anyway, but just kind of noticing that about his profile. He his uh, chest armor is removable. And he's got those two pig holes so he can wear turtle shields if he wants to. Um, and these pieces are also rubber and can be removed. Just got to uh, pop the arms off to get to them. Okay, so we are going to use these holes in the back to plug in the tentacles. 
they are also translucent, but they are a bit uh, a harder plastic. Um, we okay. I was thinking this was gonna go this way, and it goes this way. So you take this and plug that in. And there is a little piece in the middle, and it is articulated. So you basically you achieve this effect with it. So let's take one of the hands off. I think that's what we were meant to do here. And that is definitely not what you're meant to do. So um, the packaging, let's kind of show him holding this thing. But I thought the system would allow you to peg this in, and there, there's just no way for this to work. Um, I'm not sure how he's supposed to really hold it. That is kind of a weird thing going on with the instructions. It does show one thing that we can do. We'll get to that in a moment. But let's uh, talk about this accessory next. So pretty much have a handle right here. And you can just slide this in. And it's almost like a little gun that he's holding. And visually, you can work this out and make it look like it's his hand growing. So that's kind of fun. So this, they mean for you to remove his head. And that's what this ball socket is for back here. And you are meant to do this with him. <laughs> so this is pretty crazy. Which is excellent for a Motu versus Ninja Turtles type figure. So really, 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 really crazy. Um, yeah, the... I guess you can do it like this. So... This appendage here does seem more defined. I think they mean for you to do, the, yeah, they mean for you to do this to kind of hold it. I guess like a gun. So that is how he can hold the flytrap accessory. So he is, uh, to get everything going, if you're gonna, Holes him and something, some kind of extreme poles. You're going to need some kind of figure stand to do this, but it is a cool design. Um, I especially like the like the bone um, stuff on the front of it. And figures, whenever you see these figures and they have kind of uh, like neon like attributes to them, they they do have. Uh, they, they pick up well with UV light, so, um, yeah, look at that, that's crazy. So, you can probably get some really cool photography out of these. So, that's a review. Um, let me know what you think. This completes the deluxe figures up to this point. We still don't have any word on how we're going to complete the Metal Bato, but we do know there's more figures coming. Um, there's definitely April and Splinter. If we think about various characters that can exist, um, maybe we'll get a Leatherhead. Um, I think there's going to be like a non-mutated He-Man coming. And I believe I saw there's some more turtles coming. Like they're they're redoing some of the turtles um, with different looks. 
So this line has got a long life ahead of it, at least probably another year worth of product coming. So if you like this line, uh, more to come. Um, as always, thanks for watching and uh, tune into more videos coming up. Thank you.